In this video, let's quickly insert a list of our sheets that are in our plan set with one click from our sheet set manager. So I am here on the title sheet for this fake plan assembly, the sheet set that has all of these five pages in it. I can right click on the sheet set itself and insert sheet list table. Now in here, you can have your own style or however you want to build it. And there's a whole different video on creating table styles. But in here, you have the option to choose that style and you can insert it. And I'm just going to hit OK and I'm going to place it right here so you can see it and uh, delete these this placement text that just is in my way here. And it automatically puts it in there. It keeps up with the sheet number and the sheet name from the sheet set manager so that they will match exactly. Now, the caveat is unlike when you change things in the, she the sheet number and layout in the sheet set manager, it will change everything on the fly. So if I come in here and I rename and renumber this D301, for an example, and I hit OK, when I regenerate, it will not update. You have to physically select the index and then right click and you can update data links. So when you update that, it will update it. It is the only object from Civil 3D that, that's linked to the sheet set manager that I have found so far that it does not directly update. I'm not entirely sure why it, they chose for it not to do that, but it will still sync. So one of your last steps, perhaps if you've been doing things before uh, making changes to your plan assembly before you plot or run the batch print would be to update this. So that's a real quick video. It's really not quick and easy stuff. Um, let me delete it. And go like we're going to insert it again. Now you'll notice that when you do that, there's two columns. And that wanting the sheet number and the sheet title. So that's all pre-built pre in. You shouldn't have to change any of that. And you can come in here and um, create a, a font st a table style fit your need that builds in your fonts and colors and layers and so forth and be able to do this um, on the fly and it's reproducible and that's it for this video if you found this content helpful please click the like button feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button bell if you want to get pinged whenever i publish more content